Hey guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and today is another continuation of my World Cup series. We're like halfway through at this point and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> but today's video is sponsored by me. So if you guys want to hear more about that, that'll be at the end of the video. But for now, let's get to what we're actually here for. <laughs> so I'm going to take some red eyeshadow. This is um, one of the chrome pots from Tarte love these a lot um, and I'm gonna apply that on the outer third and the inner third of the eye we're gonna do kind of like a halo eye um, if you're using these though uh, I would make sure you use a little bit because you can get some fallout from them or you can use your finger if that makes you a little bit happier one thing I like to do when I do halo eyes is to apply the darker color on the edges first and then I'll go in and blend it out now with this, I did blend it out kind of far. I'll show you a little bit later how to clean it up, but just as far as control goes, try not to blend it out too far and definitely take your time when you're doing that so you can see where your eyeshadow is going. Now I did connect it by the crease. If you don't want to do that, that's really up to you. I felt like it, if I didn't, it kind of looked like an ice cream sandwich almost. <laughs> And since I have the red anyway, I'm going to go ahead and apply some to the lower lash line. I'm also going to intensify the color a little bit on the inner corners and the outer corners. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend out that lower lash line. I want to have more of a blown out kind of look like I do with the upper part of the lid. If that's not really your like style, you can always leave it a little bit less blended if you want to. I just don't like that harsh line there, that's just me though. And as I mentioned before, this was a little bit too blown out for me, so what I did was I went in with some concealer, lightly blended that around the edges, and then I went in and patted it in with my finger. What this basically will do is kind of act like an eraser, so that way you don't have to go in with makeup remover and take it off. And then I also went around uh, my eyebrows and then I cleaned off that blending brush again and I went over the edges just to make sure they were a little bit softer and it didn't look like I was trying to get rid of something. Because I cannot seem to put away my NYX Jumbo Pencils lately, I went in with some NYX Jumbo Pencil just on the middle part of the eye where we left that space and I'm going to apply that mostly so that the white has something to stick to and so it'll be a little bit more vibrant especially because the colors are foiled so I want it to be able to stand out on its own. Also make sure before you put the eyeshadow on that you're really blending out that base underneath so that way when you put the shadow on it doesn't have any thicker parts or chunky parts and it goes on a lot smoother. And then once again, I went in and intensified those outer corners and also blended it into the white a little bit. I wanted the white to be there, but I didn't want it to be so prominent. So I went ahead and literally just blended it into one another. For my eyeliner, I decided to go with something similar to what I did with the Portugal um, makeup, which I'll have linked up above, which is kind of like dotted eyeliner. Um, the Peruvian flag has um, like a crest in the middle of it with a bunch of different colors going on. They have some green, some gold, some blue, um, and I wanted to incorporate those colors in this look as well, so I went ahead and just basically did a dot eyeliner. That and I felt this looked a little bit more appropriate, I guess. Or not really appropriate, but I felt like it went a little bit better with um, the kind of halo eye look that I was going for. I don't know. I'm just going with it. <laughs> I like the after effect. If you guys don't want to do this, you can always go ahead and do just regular winged eyeliner. That is completely up to you. Just like everything else in this video. Just went in with some false lashes. If you guys want a full video on that with tips and tricks and other stuff, I'll have that linked in the cards above as well. And then I applied some mascara. If you want to know why I do mascara after my lashes, click 
click that video that I just told you I was going to have in the description and you'll find out why. <laughs> but also make sure to really coat your lower lashes so that way they stand out a little bit more on their own. Um, I don't know, I feel like I always have an issue with my lashes on the lower lash line standing out. Maybe it's just me though. To finish off this look, I'm going to go ahead and apply a pink shimmer kind of lip thing. I don't even know what this is. It just gave me a little bit of gloss to be honest. It's like a light pink color but it didn't really add too much color to my lips. So it's gonna be like that. Kind of goes with the red. That's what I went with. You could probably honestly do like a nude with this and it would still look nice. But before we go, like I said before, this video is sponsored by me. I have a merch store. So if you guys want to support the channel, get some cool stuff, t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, things like that. I even have a mug on there that I'm really excited about. <laughs> the link will be in the description down below. But that is basically it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it, as usual. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to win this World Cup. Do you think Peru is going to take it? Let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.